started my career that I had as a female engineer and the experience that my colleagues had was just so different. So I'll give you an example. It looked like an engineer. Not that many organizations that actually focused on the top of the funnel. So there weren't a lot of organizations that really tried to motivate young women, you know, middle schoolers, high schoolers, get them interested in these fields, and then actually pave a way for them to become future female leaders. So I decided to start my own. Our vision and mission is to empower young girls, digital skills of the future, to empower them to become future female leaders. So Nadine, you talked about STEM. Oh yes, please. <laughs> so you talked about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Exactly. So how does focus on learning about those subjects lead to empowerment, especially for girls? Yeah, so I mean, I think everybody here knows, right? Um, because of COVID, especially because of COVID, Technology is now seeping into every single industry in, in our economy, in our world. So it makes a lot of sense for us to really focus on technology and digital skills for these girls to open up doors of opportunity for them for whatever they end up wanting to do in the future. When we think about technology, it's everything. So every single potential role that they would want to go into in the future would have to have some sort of digital skills. So what we're trying to do is teach them these skills. I was very fortunate enough to have parents who did that, but outside of you know my immediate family, there were very few people, I think maybe uh, there's still a bit of a bias of what the role of woman should be, yeah. right? And I didn't really fit into that mold, probably. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of people telling me that this was you know a career path for me, or this was something that they thought that I would really uh, succeed in. And so the thing with, because I don't want them growing up the way that I grew up with people telling them that they can't do what, you know, they, you, you can't um, and just have kids and that's gonna be your life. Like I don't want that to be something that they hear on the daily. So first and foremost, we are a community and we are a support system for the young girls in our uh, organization so that they do know that there are people out there who do support their success story and they, they support their journey and whatever that may be. 100. Um, Is that amazing? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's why I wanted to be sure and ask that question. It's a huge impact. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always growing and we're always looking for new members um, and looking to for people to help grow our network. So we're really, really proud of that number. But I think, we're, I will never feel like we're done, you know? I will never feel like we've helped enough young women. So I, I'm sure that you have dozens of stories about the students and the girls that you've impacted. Yeah. Would you like to share just a few with us today? Sure. Um, like I said, I'm super, super proud of, of our community and what they've done, so I would love to share some stories. Um, so when we talk about success at Generation Girl, obviously, you know, we do want to introduce these STEM topics to these girls. We want to make sure that they understand that digital skill, gosh, computer science is my passion, right? Like, I really, really want to become an engineer. So that is one success story. We actually had a young woman going through our programs. She had never coded before in her life. She came from a very rural part of Indonesia, and all of our programs are completely free. So we ended up letting her borrow a laptop and a Wi-Fi router so she was able to join our program. And then after our program, for a couple weeks, she was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. And now she goes to, she like four years later, now she is a freshman at one of the most prestigious colleges in Indonesia to become a computer scientist. So I think Certainly that's a, a success story. Yeah, yeah, I would say so for sure. Yeah, definitely a success story. Yes. Um, the other success that we probably think of at Generation Girl is, you know, girls go through our programs. They don't, are they're not, they, I mean, they understand the digital skills are important, but potentially they may not think that that is their passion. So what we like to do with those kinds of girls, because this is still a success story, is we help them uh, get scholarships, we help them uh, with other resources and with our network to get them uh, opportunities with the digital skills that we've taught them 
but in a different industry. So for example, we just um, had a young girl who we helped get a scholarship to Rochester Institute of Technology. She's gonna be doing her master's in video games. Absolutely. So Nadine, how do you stay connected with the girls that come through your program? You know, students in a couple of years ago. So 